This thing is incredibly <laughs> smooth. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Momo Paintball, and today we're going to be unboxing the Shocker CVO. Oh. 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 Not so the, without for wait, what were you going to say? Not the XLS? No, it's not. It's a Shocker CVO. Oh. So without further ado, let's jump right on into this. This is a very nice uh, case by Shocker, and uh, it's hard case. Comes with a carrying handle. It's fantastic. Shocker CVO. Oh, Ooh, tip oh, that my way. Oh. Let me see that. Tip, tip it. Tip it. Just a little bit. Tip it. Oh. Tip it. Tip it. Okay. That's why it's hey. called the O. Oh. Because it gives you that O face. You know what I'm saying? Rebuild kit. O's. You know. There's a lot of O's in there. There. There are. This is meant to be, Mark. This is meant to be. O-ring, detents, all that stuff. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Off to the side. Barrel. Tip. Oh. Oh. Barrel tip. Okay. God, the viewers are gonna quit saying O. Oh. So. Freak barrel. Wait, hold that. Do you still? like that? Yeah, that is nice. Freak XL kit, eight inch control bore. <gasps> Boing. Oh, comes with a six eight seven. Okay. Bing. Slide that back in there. Only this comes is, with a six eight seven. That's it, dude. It's the only uh, barrel that comes in there. Barrel oh. tip, barrel back with a uh, Freak XL insert, and then you also get some uh, Allen keys, oh. which is actually a great feature. Oh. No, but for real, guys, <laughs> uh, you got some nice Allen wrenches here, like a full, complete set to do anything you want to the gun, uh, work on the gun, etc. Work on other guns, whatever you want to do. Shocker C V. Oh, look at this one. This one's a beauty, Mark. It is. Take nice. a quick little peek at this bad boy. I like that blue. Mm. It's a pretty blue. Do you, do you know how the bolt comes out, or should we save that, or should I talk about the features first? That is, the, that is the best thing here. So many questions. Get, get the gun. Get I, the gun. It says shocker. It It is a shocker. I guess, I guess everybody will know what I have if I'm shooting that, right? Okay. So so what what do you want to what do you want to say here, Mark? Is that a close up on the gun? Get why why up. is the why close I, up I, on wait, the gun? I'm 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 super close on the gun, but I'm curious. I haven't seen a trigger frame like that in a while. Everything has these giant trigger frames. So, what is that? So let me let me let me tell you a little about this. This is called their precision trigger. Not original by just saying it's precision, but it truly is a precision marker. Next, you have the roller bearing lever. And I'm gonna get into this in just a second, but I wanna I mean just I'm, pointing I'm, to the to direction. Roller bearing lever. You also have the roller actuated pivot valve that actually fires the marker. And then you got the adjustable ASA, your spool valve, you're highly efficient at 145 PSI with this gun. It's a beauty. So, um, oh, even the feed neck, you got a locking feed neck here. This is a wonder itself. You got the rubber grip up front that holds you, you know, you can get a good grip on that bad boy, not have your hands slip off. Did I mention the ASA? I'm you not did. sure. I think I did. Briefly. But there it is. Boom. Boom shakalaka. All right, guys, let me kind of get, as Mark takes some good pans of this gun, let me get into the actual details of this before we go outside and shoot this bad boy. So as I'm talking about it, Mark can pan over the gun and show you what I'm actually talking about. The precision trigger, it is fully adjustable. This is what separates it uh, from other mechanical competitors. Set screws inside. You can adjust it to the trigger length pull that you want the trigger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it will, with the bearings that are inside of this trigger, will provide a clean pivot of the marker. But wait, how do you get two fingers in that trigger hole? You don't get two fingers in there. You only get one, man. It's mechanical. You're not. We're not walking the trigger here. You're just getting it going. It just. It seems it's, so it's, retro. I haven't. Mark, I haven't seen a trigger it's, it's, like it's, that in forever. One, Is that one, a Tipman ninety eight? One wait, pull at a time, bro. One pull. Interesting. It's one pull at a time. I can't wait to see it fire. All right. Sorry. On the inside off. of the grip, off. I'm not taking the grips off so you can see you're dropping the frame. Roller bearing lever on the inside. Google it. This a lot. Yeah. Hit it. <laughs> hit it with the Google. Roller bearing lever right on the inside of the frame. So what that does, not only does the lever ride on the sealed bearings, but it's also equipped with the roller bearing set. And you guys are like, what does that even mean? Yes, what? So basically, two roller bearing levers 
provides minimal friction with the trigger pull. Since this is a mechanical marker, it's just so smooth. There's two bearings, one on each side of the trigger frame. So this and is mechanical, so where do the batteries go? <laughs> there are no batteries, it's mechanical, man. So, uh, that's what that means. I just wanna take this outside and shoot it, but I'm gonna continue on with the features <laughs> before we do so. Lastly, who's here? Who's here? Ding dong. Daddy's there he home. is. Daddy's Whoa. home. Okay. All right. He dropped his phone. All right. All right. Before we take this bad boy outside and shoot it, I want to go over the roller actuated pivot valve. This is actually what makes the gun fire, guys. So, um, like I said, it is a pivot valve. It's going to be back in this region, somewhere in here. Mark can get on camera. Yep. I love Real that sweet. region. It's where you the do. name is. Oh, he loves the region. So it's a precision aluminum valve that uh, moves less than six hundredths of an inch to actually make the gun fire. So as a mechanical marker, probably one of the smoothest shots on the market. And that's all you guys care about. I'm not going to get into the actual uh, verbiage of the stuff you guys don't care about. The gun shoots so smooth. The double rolling bearing, you know, I mean, can we just shoot it already, Mark, or no? In no a second, I'll go over a couple more. A couple things. more things. And I'm all also right. curious... Go ahead. Go ahead. What would be this gun's biggest competition right now? What's on the market that would be comparable to this? Oh, man. He's bringing that. Because I don't know what the price point is yet. I don't know. Okay, I so mean, mechanical I've markers. Heard of, yeah, I mean. There's... Okay, you're talking the EMAC by PE. You're talking auto cockers. You're talking other mechanical guns. I mean. Okay. So we're, you know. This gun is, is very, very nice, though. Oh, and then you got the GOG enemy to... You know, stuff like that, that's mechanical. Okay. Anyways, enough with the hoopla, the ASA. Look at the ASA, fully adjustable, on and off ASA, which is very, very nice feature. Yep, it's off. What's off? The ASA. There's no tank attached, it should be off, right? Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely <laughs> off, yes. Mark, he's always cracking jokes behind the camera. Freak barrel, eight hey, inch oh, insert You're bolt. showing barrels, hold on, let me see the barrel. Oh, it, ooh, it's pretty, why is it red? Uh, it's red because that's the color of the 687. Is that a standard? I'm, I was always be curious because you see you buy a free kit, you got, there's a green insert, there's a red insert. Are they standardized that way so you know real quick yeah, the color? Yeah, each color you? has their own uh, number associated with it, yes. Nice. So red comes with the free XL kit, uh, stock, and then your tip, obviously. Boom, booyah. Here we go. We're going to take this bad boy outside and shoot it, like I said. Yep. Um, obviously we are hose free. That is another thing they claim to, you know, everything, air goes into the ASA, up to the grip and into the valve. Wait, so. a mechanical with no hose? No. Does any other mechanicals do that? Yeah, they do. Oh. Come on, Mark. This I don't is know. I'm just, I'm asking. Yeah, I'm, they do. I'm playing the noob game. I'm Mark is new. Yeah, so it doesn't have any macro line or steel braided hose, nothing like that. Uh, it is a spool valve marker. I mentioned earlier in the video, the efficiency is absolutely amazing. Operates 145 PSI, and this gun, it's about to rock your socks. Wait for the shooting video, because we're gonna go outside right now and take this thing for a spin. Yep, and that's it. I already mentioned the carrying case and everything else, dude. All right, so put the barrel completely on. So once on. again, let me, put, let me. Yeah, so. Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing? I'm just gonna read. I thought we were going outside. We do, we are. I wanna dude. go outside. You do? Yes. All right, hey, my mask well, is ready. I want to go. Let's take it outside and shoot it. Here we go. All right, guys. Now that I'm outside here at the uh, indoor here in Clinton Township, Michigan, we're going to shoot this Shocker CVO, and uh, we're going to oh. see what it can do. Oh, we're bringing back the O again. <laughs> okay. We're going to see what it can do, how accurate it is, and uh, how smooth it shoots, most importantly. So without further ado, let's get on with this. All right, Mark, what do you think? Oh, I think it's gonna be great. Ooh, I think it's a beauty. I think we're gonna put it right at that sign and see, oh, see how fine. accurate it is, actually. Going for the sign. You ready, you think? I'm ready. Oh, too low, too low. This thing is incredibly <laughs> smooth. He switched on me. <laughs> Made you he look. Me. Made you look. This thing is super smooth. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it, honestly.
How's that trigger pull? Very small, very light, very, very comfortable. You like that better or a double trigger? I mean... Just personal preference, not that it's... Honestly, for being a mechanical marker, it is probably one of the smoothest shooting guns I've ever shot. So shout out to GOG Paintball, shout out to Russell. This gun is absolutely amazing. And uh, a couple more shots, I'll see you guys back inside. Yeah, this is beautiful. Beautiful gun. All right, guys. So uh, now that we're back inside after shooting this thing, I hope you guys like it. It honestly shoots amazing. I love that the adjustable trigger setting on here that a lot of the other mechanical guns don't have. Shout out to Russell Jackson from, you would guess it, this company for the gun. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Go to LumoPaintball.com. Check out the online store. Go to TheJerkyDen.com. Buy some lean mean protein and until next time guys we're out of here why don't you tell anybody to like subscribe and hit their notification because bell anymore they know that why Mark. like why? subscribe notification bell ding ding all right shocker pop zoom gotta Pops, pop zoom the shocker pop i'm popping Woo. it you're popping it pop Woo. lock and drop it mark oh i'm gonna, gonna throw up i'm gonna throw up <laughs>